just because who doesn't love Fly Guy? Fly Guy presents Space by Ted Arnold, who also did the pictures. And it's 520.3 ARN for Ted Arnold, because the ARN is the first three letters of the author's last name. Now, 520, that's the beginning of all my space books. So from like 520 to 529, you'll find stuff about space and the solar system and the moon and stars and cool stuff like that. Fly Guy presents space. A boy had a pet named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. And he's reading Rocket Dude. One day, Buzz and Fly Guy were at the Space Museum. Museum. I want to fly into space when I grow up, said Buzz. Space? Yeah, said Buzz. We can learn all about space right here. Space Museum. A universe is so big that scientists do not know its exact size. Space means everything in the universe. The universe is made up of planets and stars and suns and moons and much, much more. There are eight planets in our solar system. Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And this spaceship went all the way past Neptune. Oh, a house. Moons orbit or travel around planets. Earth has one moon. Earth and its moon, the surface of the moon. Jupiter has 50 or more moons, many moons, some of Jupiter's moons. There are at least 146 moons in our solar system. The sun is the biggest object in our solar system. It's 109 times wider than Earth, Earth to scale. The sun's gravity pulls the planet like a giant magnet. It, the sun is the center of our solar system and all objects orbit around the sun because it has gravity. Gravity attracts objects to one another. The sun is a star. Stars are huge balls of burning gas. Stars only look small because they are so far away. The sun is the closest star to Earth. It is 93 million miles away. Stars. Stars are not star-shaped. They are really just gi gi gigantic balls of gas. Not star-shaped, round-shaped. There are many other objects in our solar system. Meteoroids are small rocks, and when they fall towards Earth, they are called meteors. A shooting star is really a meteor. Comets are large pieces of rock, dust, and ice that orbit the sun. Comets are called dirty snowballs. Asteroids are made up of rock and metal. An asteroid belt is made up of a lot of asteroids. Astronauts are people who travel into space to find out more about it. Astronauts called zero gravity flights vomit comets because you're because you're going upside down in zero gravity and make your stomach go ugh. There is no gravity or oxygen in space. Astronauts go on zero gravity flights to learn how it feels to move without gravity. And these rides are like very fast roller coasters. Boom. Astronauts wear special clothes to keep them safe and spacesuits to keep astronauts warm or cool and let them breathe. So there's lights up here, there's their helmet, with gloves, their temperature control valve, Ooh. their safety tether so they don't float off, and a whole protection layer. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin walking on the moon. You need your own helmet, fly guy. He's right in there, sharing the helmet. Try on a real space helmet. A spacecraft is a vehicle that travels in space, and there are many different types of spacecraft. A space capsule is carried into space by a rocket. Some return to Earth by splashing down in water. There's a capsule landing and a splash down landing. So, oh, it has its own um, like uh, safety device to keep it floating. A space shuttle also blasts off using rockets. And when it returns to Earth, it lands on a runway like an airplane. 
So there's the rocket boosters and there's the space shuttle. Astronauts can live in space stations. A space station can be as long and as wide as a football field. Astronauts have done amazing things. The first person in space in 1961 was Yuri Gagarin. In 1962, John Glenn was the first man to orbit the Earth. In 1969, the first astronaut to walk on the moon was Neil Armstrong. And the first word said on the moon was, the eagle has landed. The first teachers to be part of the teacher in space program in 1986 were Barbara Morgan and Krista McCollum. And in 1999, the first woman to command a U.S. space shuttle was Eileen Collins. Animals were sent into space before people. First in space! The first creature in space were fruit flies. And oh, that was in 1947. 1949, Albert II became the first monkey in space. And in 1957, a dog named Laika became the first animal to orbit Earth. Scientists can learn about space through telescopes. A telescope is a tool that uses lenses and mirrors to make faraway objects look clearer. Look, kids can use telescopes too. The Hubble Space Telescope is as big as a school bus. Take me to your leader. There's still a lot to be learned about space. Earth is the only planet scientists know of that have living things on it. But some scientists think there could be other life in the universe. Aliens? Mars rovers are robots that explore Mars. Scientists are studying if there was ever water on Mars. And if there was water there, there might have been life. When Buzz got home, he made his very own asteroid belt. Hey, look, fly guy, I made it out of rocks and metal. We learned a lot about space today, Buzz said. I can't wait for our next field trip. In space.